Okay, okay, okay. I, I see how it is. Nintendo really wants us to know about this Splatfest, because they went ahead and shared it with us almost two and a half weeks beforehand. It's official. The Super Mushroom vs. Superstar Splatfest will be taking place January 15th at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to January 17th at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's a 48-hour Splatfest. A 48-hour Splatfest that we here on Team Star need to start preparing for. <laughs> the last video I did brought the hype, but it didn't discuss much of a way to win the Splatfest. So I'm going to be spending the next few minutes preparing you so we can shoot for the stars. We need plans. No, no, no. We need star strategies. <laughs> Introducing plan star. The S stands for survive. Come on. We're playing on a team that's all about invincibility. If you want to be on top, you need to start dying less now. But Vic, how do I, how do I, how do I do that? Easy. Get a baller weapon so you can run for the hills whenever danger shows up. And that baller has other uses too. Why not pop your baller right at the end of a match to get some extra points on the board? As long as the ground is painted your color when the match ends, it's counting for you and not for Team Mushroom. The T stands for train. Pick a few weapons and commit to them now. Find a friend, or two, or even three. And maybe you want to play Splatfest with friends you know to maximize not only your chance of winning, but maybe even your clout. Remember, the winning team is the one that gets the most clout averaged across all the players in the Splatfest. Assuming that Team Star is going to have a lot of players, every game that we win will bring up that average by a little ill bit. If you and your friends all wear matching gear, and for the advanced, match even your Inkling's appearance and gender, you could get clout bonuses up the wazoo, maybe even doubling your clout that you earn from every win. If you know what gear you want to use in advance, you can start planning your gear sets now and plan your weapons to have the upper hand. The A stands for, uh, obliterate. <laughs> yeah, don't question it. No one gets to survive besides you and your teammates. That's a good idea, too. Before the Splatfest starts, you have to start working on your aggression. Painting your side of the map is good, yeah. But you know what else can paint the map? Uh, other Inklings and Octolings, aka <laughs> your opponents. See an opening? Take that opening. Patience is your friend. When a squid seems like they're not paying much attention, that's when you strike. Remember, you don't have too much health on the splattle field. A couple of shots before your opponent notices will almost always let you get away with the win in a 1v1. But maybe you want to do more than just a 1v1. Why not turn the tides in your favor with ink armor? If you play an ink armor heavy weapon like the Splattershot Jr. or the NZAP 85, or maybe even opt for a heavy hitter like the 96 Gal, you can keep your team safe while also setting them up to have the confidence that they need to take out everyone on Team Mushroom. Sounds like a good idea to me. And finally, the R stands for reward. Yeah, you heard me. Reward yourself as you're preparing for the Splatfest. Make sure you do proper self-care. Every time you do four wins in a row, you know, one for each letter and star, make sure you take a drink of water and stretch those hands. You don't want to burn out before the Splatfest hits, right? Here's a word from our sponsor. Hi, Tippy. Hi. Hi, are you ready to be today's sponsor, Tippy? You are? Oh my God, thank goodness. All right, Tippy, come over here. Come over here, you gotta be today's sponsor. Come this way. All right. All right, Tippy, Tippy. This, this is a water bowl. How do you feel? Come back over here, Tippy. How do you feel about water bowl? You think it's fantastic? Oh, yeah, yeah. You hitting your head against the screen obviously means that you agree. Oh, oh my God, wait. We have another sponsor? How, how do you feel about this, ma'am? Ma'am? Okay. Well, you know what? We have, we have this one. This is the one that matters. Thank you, Tippy. Thank you. See? See? There's more to this than power and numbers. There might be quite a few mirror matches, but the matches that matter will be the ones where you fight Team Mushroom. Make sure that you still fight your way through your star versus star matches so you don't start to let your guard down. The way Pearl and Marina talk about the Splatfest also has to get you wondering, will this truly be the last Splatfest? Maybe. 
The fact they actually talk about the Splatocalypse is shocking. What's even more interesting is that Nintendo's Splatfest website is still set up to talk about Chaos vs. Order. I wonder, will that change now that Pearl and Marina have acknowledged this fest? I, I didn't expect them to mention it, honestly. I thought it'd be separate from the Splatfest canon, but this opens up a whole new can of worms. Will this truly be the last fest? We know that this Splatfest is partially to celebrate the Mario anniversary. A lot of changes are happening across the Switch at the end of March. Could we maybe see Pearl and Marina run another Splatfest in April? Hmm? I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't mind a rehash of the Spring Fest, or even something new. Nintendo originally claimed there were only supposed to be two more fests after Chicken vs. Egg, and we've already passed that. Shine on, Team Star. If this is the last one, we have to go out with a bang. Win or lose. Have fun. Best of luck out there, no matter what team you're on. Also, also they, they brought back the Bunker Games again, so I already won the Splatfest, whether or not Team Star actually wins. Bye. <laughs> Drinking water is very good. Oh, I guess you don't agree. Okay.